What is up, my peeps? Today I'm playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on this map called Hijack. And I'm playing some Domination. I'm using the Scorpion Evo with Ronin Camo, and I'm gonna go 52 and 14. And this is my semi machine gun. So I'm gonna make a semi machine gun video. I'm probably gonna make a video about every single gun in the game. If I have a cold, if I, if I cough or something, sorry about that. If I sound a little, little weird, I'm a little stuffed up, little, you know, stuff with the cold. Apparently, don't go outside and play football in the snow, because it doesn't work out very well. And yeah, nice little drop shot headshot there. And then, I don't think it was a headshot, I'm not quite sure. Anyhow, so you're gonna have going 14 and, f um, I mean, 42, 52 and 14, sorry about that. And I go crazy. Um, first kind of, first half of the round kind of sucks, second half of the round is amazing. So, uh, I get, I get, basically get really lucky and get an AGR and a care package, and I just go hand with that. And then I get some more care packages, and then that builds my momentum up. I get really good confidence, and then I just start ripping these guys to shreds. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll get into it. So today I'm going to talk to you, talk to you guys about the best uh, attachments to use for your submachine guns. So today, um, the best attachment to use for most of the submachine guns is quick draw. I use this on every submachine gun class, and I did get submachine guns diamonds. So if you want me to make a video about telling you about how my submachine guns are diamond, I will definitely do that. Um... Nice little triple kill there. I hid in the room. Nothing in there. Anyhow, so quick draw. I like to put long barrel or silencer, depending on what your personal preference is. Some machine guns are all about personal preference. So if you like some certain some machine gun, if you like a three shot burst gun, you get the shy comb. If you like a good rushing gun, you pull the MB7 or the MSMC. If you like a gun where you can just load countless bullets into people, you use a PDW. If you like a gun where you can basically just I don't know, look boss using it, <laughs> this is Scorpion Evo, so that's basically that, and the Vector K-10 is basically <laughs> good for nothing, it kind of sucks, Vector, Vector K-10 is pretty terrible, anyhow, so, getting into this, another good attachment to use is the, if you're gonna ro roll with three attachments or not, use, definitely use a grip, because a grip, because some machine guns don't exactly stay very focused when you're doing long range shots, and a grip will keep you down focused, and on target for when you're using those long range kills. So I had up in here with my pistol out, my 5.7 with laser sight. By the way, good good pistol is laser sight. I mean, I mean, good pistol to use would be a 5.7 for laser sight. I did get this gun gold, I think after this match or something. I unlocked rapid fire there. I might have prestiged it twice. I'm not quite sure if I unlocked mastery from this thing yet. I'm not quite sure, but you know. It took me forever to get this thing gold. So I was just happy to get gold. This is a little battle of reloading, and I lose. Um, sorry, the first half of the video really sucks. The second half of the video, I do crazy, I promise. Second half of the game, um, after I get my AGR, I just go hand bone and I get a bunch of kills. And then I ended up going 52 and 14, in case you didn't see. Um, you can count the kills or whatever, I went, I'm like going crazy. My friend Snack Patrol is also in here, his name is Zach. You've seen him in some of my live action videos, it was fun. Those guys just got ripped to shreds. And now more about some machine guns. Sorry if I'm getting off topic, I've, again, got my cold and it's... <coughs> sorry. Anyhow, so some machine guns are great tools for close quarters combat, like Hijacked, Nuketown 2025. I'm sure there'll be a new map in Resurrection we can use this gun in too. Uh, we can use this gun in too. Now, about the Peacekeeper, I want to tell you guys, um, I'm a little worried about that because it seems like it's going to be quite overpowered just if it's got the range of a submachine gun, it's got the range of an assault rifle, and there's my AGR. And the power of a submachine gun, it's gonna be kind of odd. I mean, all my friends, it looks like the shy comb, but blue, but, um, white and blue, which I don't really think, it looks like a mix of the Scar H and the shy comb, kind of. Um, it's quite weird. And I don't know what happens here. Yeah, but I'm gonna move when I get in my AGR, because I gotta wait till my stuff to disappear, because I'm apparently I'm stuck on these boards. Okay, there they go. And the sniper probably craps his pants up there. He's like, oh my god, there's a robot chasing me, oh no! <laughs> and then. So I'm going to do some Die Rise gameplay tomorrow. I'm going to do some stuff with all sorts of things. Probably some zombies gameplays on my channel soon. Uh, also, the stuff like that. And then, basically, I just get surrounding these guys. So, a good, um, a good advanced stuff to use on the submachine guns. If you're an advanced player, it's a silencer. Roll that for spawn, for spawn trapping. That way, they don't, you can take down countless enemies. And they don't, they don't even know you're there because you've got the radar. Then on the radar, with silencer. So, the next, after that, you're going to want to go with the... I'm in their spawn, messing them up. After that, you want to go with um, grip or quick draw, your personal preference again. Um, I, if you're an advanced player, I'd recommend shooting for those. Probably stock that way you can, if you're going prone, drop shot, and you can easily move around if you use tactical. First of all, I, do I ever stress about how much is great to use tactical layout? You gotta use tactical layout. It's amazing. Definitely, definitely, definitely use that tactical layout. So next, I'm talking, I'm talking about. <coughs> sorry, cool again. Um, next I'm going to talk about 
what good attachments to use if you are not a noob or uh, if you're not a pro like a noob um a aka a noob i love how i'm jumping in the kill can the round ends so next half i go pretty ham but if you're not the most advanced player in the world and you want to use a submachine gun i recommend do using a quick draw definitely so you can kind of aim up a red dot sight so you can get those nice little kills and then I had to switch back to me, sorry about that. Um, and then, I'd also recommend using a, probably, I've never really thought about this very much, because I'm not really exactly a noob, I've been playing this game since MW2, and that's really my thing, but if you are a noob, I'd recommend probably using the millimeter scanner, or the red outside, so you can get those nice little look-through wall kills. And for you, and if you're rolling with three attachments, I'd recommend probably rolling with the. I mean, I've used it a lot. Use long barrel on your gun, because that way you get the long shot kills and makes it a lot fat. Makes you get kills a lot faster. So definitely go with that. After here, I go crazy with my pistol. One kill, bloodthirsty already. Um, and up the stairs. Come in here, sir. Two kills, my bloodthirsty already. Fake reload. Pull out the gun. Kill him again. Reload my five seven. Run downstairs. Another kill with my 5.7. Boom, 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 you're dead. Pistols in this game are so uh, so awesome. Another kill with my 5.7. And man, I think I do get killed over here. Um, I think I actually get killed by a hunter killer drone. Because I call my care package back here. Lightning strike. Sorry if you can't see it. I'm in theater mode. I call my care package. And this is a great gameplay. So hopefully I helped you out with my tips and tricks. I'm just going to kind of commentate on my gameplay. And tell you guys about what I've been really. I'm probably gonna do this more of these more live gameplays. Probably do some zombies gameplays. And my friend Mister Explosive Day, and he's gonna be going crazy. He's got four subscribers already. He started pretty pretty recent, actually. Um, he's got a couple videos out, and they're both pretty funny. So you have to check him out. Links up there in the corner of the screen. So the reason I'm rolling with, I'm gonna talk to you about good kill streaks, cause why not? We've got a bunch of time. This video is taking forever long gameplay but since I've got time to spare I'll talk to you about good kill streak season if you're a noob I recommend you rolling with UAV hunter killer and or care package that way you got a whole little group of things and even if even if you feel like you don't feel like going for those high kill streaks and if you do get you get lucky you'll just cycle through them over and over again and it's pretty crazy so perks to use for these kill streaks I recommend rolling with engineer that way you can roll their roll your care package again and throw on a um, black hat. Why not? That way you can t take your care package from pretty far away. It saved me a couple times with my enemies taking my good care packages. I mean, I I've gotten really lucky pat in the past couple days. I've gotten I got a warthog last night in my care package. I got a two canine units. I got um I got a lone star. I got a retail warship one time. I got a legit lone star last night. That was pretty fun. I got to post that gameplay. I'll probably let machine gun gameplay. I kind of sat back and relaxed with my MK and just murder people. So that was always fun. And then. I get killed here. The game is almost over. I mean, I'm still. I think. I think for the best, for the best gun that looks, for the best gun that looks diamond. I'll make. I'll make a video about this. But, but the best gun that looks diamond. I'm gonna have to say probably the best gun that looks diamond is. I'm gonna actually have to go with the PGW. I mean, I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, the PGW is pretty. It's like almost fully diamond. There's not that much gold on it. And sorry about the little skip there. I just go. I don't know. The PDW looks awesome, Diamond. Um, so does MB. The MB7 looks really cool, Diamond too. Um, and the first time I ever saw that was that Diamond was on Gogo Gamer's channel. She's pretty good too. She's got a lot of funny videos out, a lot of good videos. But uh, she does Call of Duty commentaries too, and that's where I saw my first. Saw her for saw my first um, um, MP7 Diamond. So that's where I figured out. Hey, that looks pretty awesome, Diamond. Then moving on, another gun that looks pretty cool diamond would have to be the MSMC. I mean, it's not very diamond, but the way the gold and the diamond mix, it looks awesome. And let's just be honest, everything looks great on that gun, because that gun's freaking beast. Um, next up, no, that was a nice long-range kill. I mean, I mean, third bluff is the game. Um, Call my Hailstone Missile, and tip for Hailstone Missiles. I wouldn't exactly try to use the Hailstone Missile. And cluster bomb, there's two guys over there because the cluster bomb will go on the roof and you'll waste one. So uh, don't use cluster bombs if you got two guys sitting like, directly in front of each other. Call my lightning strike, sorry about the theater mode again. Um, go over here, 33 seconds left. 
I am still pulling noobs here. And these guys, honestly, I think these guys are taking pick up a good fight. They did at the beginning, and then we just started like taking a dump on them the whole game. Um, my friend Zach and I are in here, and we're just kind of rolling around. He didn't do though. He didn't do that great. I did pretty nice. Um, he had some nice kills there. In there, his name is popping up on the screen here and there. But that was a nice little double kill there. I think I do get killed here. This was really dumb. I don't know why I did this. I'm like, yeah, for Sparta. Then I got shot. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, right, subscribe. That'll be the end of the video. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.